see the Amanda show. I'm Amanda's biggest fan. I came all the way from Switzerland. I brought Amanda this corn chowder. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, get back in line. Sir, apparently you don't realize who I am, please. My name is Penelope Tate. I just happen to be Amanda's number one fan, please. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Everybody's her number one fan. Oh, yeah? Does everybody have Amanda's face tattooed on their abdomen? Huh? <laughs> Um, the Amanda show will begin momentarily. We want Amanda! 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 You gotta fly towards Nickelodeon! Please hurry, I've got a show to do! Nickelodeon? Are you one of them rugrats? <laughs> no, I'm Amanda! Amanda Bynes! Oh. I wish you were one of them rugrats! <laughs> Excuse me. Hi. I'm one of the regular cast members on Amanda's show. My name is Johnny Kassir. You ain't Amanda. I took a lot of cough medicine this morning. Cough medicine? Oh, yeah. That stuff will knock you loopy. I realize that I'm not Amanda, but I don't think it's necessary to... Oh, why? why? Sorry. Hey, it's Amanda! Yeah! on a regular show, you never... What's that noise? <laughs> Hello, people. I'm Penelope Taint, Amanda's number one fan, please. I have my own Amanda website, www.amandaplease.com. Who are you, please? I'm Nancy. I'm not familiar with you. I'm one of the actors on the show. You're wasting my life. Where's Amanda, please? She's doing the show. And everyone here on the show really makes me feel at home. The only thing missing is my room. She misses her room! Amanda wants her room! How can people just stand there when Amanda has not fulfilled desire? I'll be back, please. Hey, yo, Amanda. Since you're the star of the show, do you think you can have a pizza delivered in under 30 seconds by two of your favorite TV stars? Get me a banana nut muffin. Okay, now come on. There is no way that I could get a pizza. Yeah. 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 We brought you pizza. Oh, that is so sweet. Yeah. Hey. And we brought you some flowers. Oh, thanks. Okay. the best. Thank you. Oh, and uh, here's your muffin, dog. Uh. I love you, man! <laughs> we just came to wish you good luck on your show tonight, sweetie. Thank you. Yeah, break a leg. Thanks. Oh. Bye. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, my name is Amanda. Stick around. We'll be back in a minute to just the... <laughs> Yeah! How many times has this happened to you? Cause now there's the pedestrian airbag! The pedestrian
disgusting boys! Can I kiss your face? <laughs> well... <laughs> She's okay! <laughs> the Pedestrian Airbag! From the makers of The Inflatable Friend! Get one! This is the courtroom of Judge Trudy. When you've got a beef, don't take the law into your own hands. Put your beef in the hands of Judge Trudy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sit down. I am Judge Trudy. Now, uh, uh let's... wait. Excuse me. <laughs> You're the judge? No, I'm a bowl of fruits. <laughs> You're just a kid. Overruled. Now, uh, Curtis McPean, you have a complaint against Principal Thorne. Yeah, I do. He made me stay after school. Oh. Hey, Judge Trudy! These kids are throwing garbage at me! Sir, I cannot be responsible if you choose to stand in the way of their flying garbage. But you honor! Silence! Now, Curtis, please tell me why Sir Yappenheimer over here kept you after school. Well, you see, we're studying uh, flotation in science class, and I wanted to do an experiment. He pushed my car into the swimming pool. Shut your jingle jaw, Thorne, or I'll hold you in contempt. Court. What does that mean? It means to shut your face hole, Mr. Yappomatic. Continue. Well, I just wanted to see if his car would float. It was a brand new car. Now it's wet. And I hate moisture. I just don't see what I did wrong. You snuck out of study hall. You went to the faculty parking lot and pushed my car into the swimming pool. That's hearsay. I saw him do it. That's saucy. I object. Approach the bench. Yes? Put your hand in this drawer. Why? Put it! <laughs> ah! Objection on the rule! Now go back to your thing. Judge Judy, I only did it for science. Perfectly reasonable. There's nothing reasonable about a moist sport utility vehicle. It was practically homework. Now what punishment did Principal Yap Tastic impose on you for doing your homework? He made me stay after school. <gasps> What kind of monster are you? But hey, but hey, but hey, but look, we can butt hay all day, but you're still gonna lose. I find in favor of the plaintiff that you in line of eighty-five thousand dollars. What? Eighty-five? I don't have eighty-five thousand dollars. Well then, you're going in the leopard cage. Leopard cage? Bailiff. <laughs> I'm allergic to cat hair. Come on, this is a joke, right? You can't be serious. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the litigants for our next case are entering the courtroom. See them? That's it. Okay. What's your complaint? Well, I was playing baseball in the house and I broke the TV, two vases, and the dog. And what did your parents do about this? We merely asked her to please not do that again. <laughs> Wait a second. Time for a butt shutting. <laughs> Court dismissed. Bring in the dancing lobsters. Tune in next week for more of Judge Trudy. Oh. So, children, George Washington led the revolution largely because he loved basketball and men named Arthur. <laughs> Amanda! Huh? Pay attention or I will send you to the principal's office. Now! George Washington had both wooden teeth and formidable leadership skills! Uh, can't take it! Can't take it anymore! Make her stop! Why must she speak? I know what to do. I brought a song. Oh. Um.
<laughs> yeah, I'm watching it. This is the one where she gets hit with the football and it breaks her nose. <laughs> I'm home from the supermarket. <laughs> oh, oh, not a problem. Katie, could you help me with these groceries? Sure, Mom. Oh, oh is your father home? Oh, yeah, he's upstairs. Oh, goody, Carl. Hi, honey. I didn't know you were home. Oh, <laughs> not a problem. Hey, pickles! These look tasty. Oh, not a problem, Dad. See, she bought two jars. Not a problem. Oh, honey, I bought that new chair. It's in the hallway by the elevator. Back in a flash. Oh! Ha <laughs> uh, <laughs> Not a problem. Oh, hi, puppy. Not a problem. Oh, help me set the table, will you, honey? Oh, sure, Mom. <sighs> oh, I'll get it, Mom. There we go. Got the chair, honey, coming through. Oh, not a problem. <laughs> Uh-oh, light bulb burned out. Oh, your brother can change it. Carter! Coming, Mom! Oh, Not a problem. What you need? Son, could you change that light bulb there? Sure, Dad. Oh, oh this is me. Oh, Not a problem. Hey, let's go out for dinner. Excellent idea, honey. You know, we could go out or stay in or whatever, as long as we, the klutzes, are together as a family. Group hug? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not a problem. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Hey, Katie, throw me those car keys, would you? Oh, sure, Dad. Not a problem. I get him. Oh, there it is on the ledge. Hold my feet, will you, family? Sure. Okay. okay. Little lower. Little lower. Be careful. Little lower. Almost got it. Almost. Little lower. Got him. Help me. Young Master Blake, are we dining alone this evening? No, I have a date. Ah, a first date? Why, yes. Ah, oh, there she is now. <laughs> Ooh, she's as pretty as a tissue. Randall? Wonderful to see you again, Cynthia. Why, thank you. Two ginger ales. On the rocks, please. Right away, sir. Thank you. Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> so, how was your day? Oh, lovely. I had a ballet recital, and then I bought a Mozart CD. Ah, Mozart. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am, for the lady and for the gentleman. Lovely. Thank you. I'm away. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. 
Mozart. So, what is your favorite piece by Mozart? That's difficult to say. My goodness, I'm itchy. I think Beethoven... Itch is quite persistent. May I borrow your fork? My fork? <sighs> Much better, thanks. Hello? <laughs> the chef has prepared a special appetizer for you. Pork puffs. Sniff them. I go. Mmm! Mmm! Awesome! Awesome! Wow! I've had some good pork puffs before, but you're your pork gift. What are all pork here? Yes, that's, that's quite a lot of pork. Uh-oh! <laughs> you okay? You should lean back like that. Yes. You don't want to hurt your precious bottom. Yes, my mistake. So you mentioned the ballet. Have you been dancing long? Long? I'll say. Look at these calluses. This one's the size of a doorknob. Yes, that one is quite bulbous. You should have it removed. Oh, I removed these myself. I have a portable calisander. Ah, I'll burn this callus right off. <coughs> Here we are. Spaghetti with clams and other fancy items one might find in sauces. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, this certainly looks yummy. Doesn't it, though? Mm. Mm. Um, uh, mm. uh, oh my, this is excellent pasta. Um, mm. Cynthia, please. Hey, you mind if I go to the bathroom? No, go go right ahead. Thank you. I thought you were going to the bathroom. I am. <laughs> Time for a poem by Mother Caboose. There once was a girl named Katie Betsu with hair of gold and eyes of blue. She picked flowers by day, fed the hungry at night. She was thoughtful and kind and did everything right. She lived by the shore in a quaint little hut with a smile on her face and a sore on her butt. <laughs> her nose was enormous, her ears were humongous. She had the O in bad breath and on her arm fungus. She had the face of a dog and the mouth of a pig. Her pants were too small and her bra was too big. <laughs> She wore glasses so large they had windshield wipers and under her dresses were fluffy white diapers. <laughs> she was mean and obnoxious and always quite rude. She went to her junior high dance in the nude. <laughs> Since she never wore shoes, she had many a blister. People would ask her, what's wrong with you, sister? <laughs> her teeth were so yellow. <clears throat> her teeth were... <clears throat> We don't have a lot of time left, but before we go, does anybody want to see a little more entertainment? Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll choose some people from the audience, and they can pick what they want to see, okay? Um, you. I want to see you name all 50 states backwards while punching an astronaut. <laughs> Excuse me, please. I'm Penelope Change. Amanda's number one fan, please. I need to see Amanda. Uh, she's like busy. She's doing the show. Washington. Virginia. <laughs> Vermont. Hey, can we help you? You know, we're part of the cast, too. That doesn't interest me, please. I'm a fan of Amanda. I've got to see her. She misses her room, so I brought it. Follow my body. You built an exact replica of Amanda's room? No, that's her actual room, please. <laughs> I went to her house, got it, and brought it.
started here. How to use a saw. I have my own Amanda website, you know. I'll show it to you on Amanda's actual computer. Watch this. Okay, www.amandaplease.com. Here's the homepage. See? Amanda, please. That's Amanda's head. Now you click on my face to find out about me, Penelope. See? Here's me. And here's a picture of Amanda that I stole. Now click here and you can see Amanda's actual chewing gum. I got it out of Amanda's garbage. So, what do you guys think of my website? Come with us. But I'm Penelope Tate. I'm Amanda's biggest fan. Her face is tattooed on my belly. And www.amandaplease.com Wait! No! Arizona! Alaska! Alabama! Alright, that's our show! I've got to dig three lobsters! See ya!